May M2, may Lord pa, tapos may Matilda. Buhay pa yung Matilda. Oh Hindi my God, God guys! Dagdashin! Pero sabay dash oh out gamit ang Matilda. Ito na, tingnan natin. Oh, oh my God! Ang mga katawa ng Matilda talaga, na may Bruno. Oh my God, it's the JJ, wala silang pang-win. Pos! Pos! Pos muna! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! It's a JJ! JJ! Look at that reaction! Lala! She has up now. Really, Sigipum, he's just able to take his yep. farm, and it might be this time that we see him also take part in the action. Good retreat from Kazoo, good disengage from S2G. They know that SRG have a lot of CC, so they just go for the objective and bounce. Yep, right now though, this might be the uh, point where s 2 back up. Okay. Now Lunar though, he goes in and wants some more! Right, I'm offended, and that's the Raging Sandstorm, the captures begin in the back! Will be caught, pops in for the Glacier earlier. Lunar's still there, and it's gonna be free hitting for Sigibum into there. Kazoo with the dive, Sky is taken down, and it's still cutting away. Kazoo goes in, Yom's isolated from the rest of the team, and Kazoo will double kill his way into a turtle. Pryo! Stormy with a terrify onto the midst of it all, going for the guiding wind, but gets boomed down by Mr. Sigibum. And Pagu, innocent, will be forced back on this Granger, and it's a win for S2G. You would then SRG. Oh. They really need to be careful, but as we're seeing it right now, they're slowly getting hold of what to do during this Lord dance. Mm -hmm. You can see the poking game that we were mentioning in the early game for Innocent. It's happening here in the mid game. He has some idle oh. Stormy! He gets an item appended over to two. And it's a guns him down. The combo in the back is a raging sandstorm and an AOG. That's a double. And Salango Red Giants, they are finally online in the 10th minute of the game. They have enough ways to scout for the members of S2G. And it seems like the plan is to take them by surprise. What a play from Stormy there, catching two members. Two crucial members. They can actually go for Innocent. And if you do dive in, you're going to be caught by all the sustained looters low again. Every single time you walk on a base, that's a circling eagle. This very aggressive Pagu. He goes away. Crab Raging Sasser oh! and the flicker to read him out. Pagu in the skies. Doesn't even matter. That's a gold lead in the hands of SRG. But they're only able to take out one inhibitor turret so far. And there are other waves coming in. But they will have time to defend these incoming waves from SRG. So it seems like even for oh. SRG, they're... They're not trying to force things just yet. They're actually quite scattered around the map, and they're probably waiting for more information regarding S2G. They do not want to force team fights in areas where S2G might have higher chances of turning things around, but use, use the avatar of the Guardians to get away, and... Oh, oh no! Yeah, Sky is overextending, but... It becomes a pretty good trade, I, in my opinion, right? Despite Sky's getting taken down, he did get a few hits there, and it's a base turret in the bottom lane, which is a far lane. There are no objectives for the next 30 seconds, so S2G getting the kill, trading it for a turret is actually worth it for SRG. Yep. They're now becoming a little more aggressive. They get out of their base, and Kazoo might gradually be able to get hold of his buffs once again. But that doesn't mean that SRG will be backing out anytime soon. Scram! Still, show, still shows himself out there. Oh, Kazoo gets caught! That's a better crown. Stormy gonna be caught in. I'm offended too. Able to flicker out to safety as a frigid glacier gets placed down. Stormy! Boom down. Sigibu still doing some damage. Dodging away from the Detonata as Kazoo dives in onto Yums. 40 seconds still. There are no objectives for S2G to take. So SRG losing out some of these members is still okay. Unless they go for these turns and siege it down. That's a tier one. Almost falling. Sigibu needs a few more shots in. Innocent can't walk up! Oh! oh! If that was a crit, it could have been different. Innocent surviving just barely will walk away. 27 seconds for the Lord. And it seems like they're gradually evening out the map. Mirko, this wasn't the scenario we've seen earlier. Even Crab, uh -oh. he's being the recipient oh. of the damage from Siggy Boom! In the time frame of the Lord not spawning yet, but losing Cram, that's your main initiator. Sky's gonna be stunned up now as Pagu walks up. Sky's no more dashes. Once you get canceled, it's gonna be tough. It's Sky's dying. Pagu gets the final hit as he fade away. Side, they're being more aggressive than ever. One another. I'm offended. And a French Glacier too. Good disengage from Yom's Innocent still in the midst of it all. Popping a Death Sonata. Trying to poke them away. But up top, how low is it? That's a base turret. Taken down. SCG still have the Lord, by the way. That siege was only just the minions. They are slowly pushing the wave in the bottom lane, and the reason they can actually slowly build this way. Oh, Lunar! Oh. Goes in with a big play. Doesn't connect. Raging Sandstorm! A flank Lunar!
caught in the midst of it all. Kazoo's over the back line away. Pagu was able to get the circle. Ego to actually peel for Sigibum. He's so free hitting. Kazoo gets the unstoppable. The Frigid Glacier comes in. Sigibum going for the crits. Innocent still using that range, dashing away from the arrow. S2G wants to continue the siege. That was a beautiful attempt from Crown, but S2G, they were prepared. Kazoo Chikibum. blocking the members, the other members of SRG from joining the team fight, and now they're still together with their Lord. They will be able to take out all the remaining inhibitor turrets, and could this be it for SRG? No, oh, the snipe down from Kazoo! Innocent force back into the base! A massive...